Hi. A lot of people have been asking me lately in groups and through email about how to change the color of the text in their WordPress posts and pages. And as soon as I mention CSS, a lot of them are sort of running for the hills. Uh, it's not as scary as it sounds. And I'm going to show you a very simple way to do it without using an external file, meaning I've shown a lot of examples where we have this plugin to do custom CSS here. But let me just show you very quickly how you can set something to a different color, a different size, a different style. Uh, it's, it's very, very quick. So let me write some text here. I'll actually just write some text here. Um, and some more text down here. Exclamation point. I usually save these pages and then preview them, but I'm just going to use the handy preview button right over here for today. And there we go, some text here and some more text down here. Now what I'd like to do is change this text here, the some text here, to red. And make sure you're in the text and not the visual this is what my visual looks like right now and that's what it normally looks like when it comes right out of the box with wordpress it's not much difference except over here we can put a little bit of code now i'll walk you through this don't let the code part scare you we're going to use something called a span tag and all tags have an opening and a closing, and usually the only difference between the closing and the opening tag is this little backslash right here. It's the one that's usually just below the question mark on the keyboard, or well, the same key as the question mark, but don't push shift. So, but as you'll see, there's no change at all to the page. The span tag on its own doesn't do much, and certainly nothing visible in this case. Now what I'm going to do now is put in what we call the style attribute. And simply like this, style equals, and then quotation marks, color, colon, and then the value. And you can just use words such like as red. So let me preview that. And there it is. As soon as it refreshes, some text here is in red. Now, if I only want to do one word, say if I want to just do the text, then I can just pull the, the sum out before the tag, and the here out on the other side. So it's only what is between the tag between the span start and the span end that this color attribute will affect. There, nice. Only the text part is red. Now, I'm gonna put a span tag here and close it. And this time style equals Go ahead and just set the background background dash color, and we'll set that to black. Of course, the text is normally black anyway, so I will set the color to white. If you notice here, I'm putting a semicolon. This tells the browser where to stop one command and look for the next. So I'm separating the background color attribute and setting with the color setting with the single one. Very important to put those between. And color equals white, or okay, in the quotations. There. Now I've got white text on a black background. And let's make the size, put a semicolon to separate. 
size 22 pixels usually 12 or so is normal so 22 should be quite large just wait for it to refresh hmm. ah do you know what it's font size font dash size There we go, large text. So that's it, background, color, and font size. And there are dozens and dozens of more things that we can put in there. But I hope this will get you started. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.